off the coast of Norway every year. There's a group of false killer whales that speak one way, and a group of dolphins that speak another way. And they come together in a super pod and hunt, and when they do, they speak a third different thing. Whoa. Yeah, the so whales they, and the dolphins. The whales and the dolphins. So they have a kind of like interlingua or lingua franca. What is a false killer whale? It's a sort of a messed up name, but it's just it, it's a species related to killer whales. <laughs> <laughs> and so they hunt together and use a third language. Yeah. Right, that, that guy was convinced that he could take acid and use a sensory deprivation tank to communicate with dolphins. I did not know that. It sort of set back like the study yeah. of animal communication. Mm-hmm. Well, the problem was the masturbating the dolphin. So, <laughs> but so what happened was there was a female researcher and she lived in a house, and the house was uh, like three feet submerged of water, and so she lived with this dolphin. But the only way to get the dolphin to try to communicate with her is the dolphin was always aroused. Yeah. So she had to manually take care of the dolphin, and then the dolphin would participate. But until that, the dolphin was only interested in sex. Yep. And so they found out about that, and you know, the Puritans and the scientific community decided that that was a no-no. <laughs>